Hi, I'm Callie. And I'm Nate. And we're from the YouTube channel King of Random, where we bring you tons of DIY projects and science experiments. Recently, we partnered with Adobe to bring you a video where we did tons of experiments using liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is really cool because it causes things to react violently and very quickly with fire. So to capture this footage, our cameraman used a high-speed camera, which our editors could then use to give a really cool effect using Adobe Premiere's speed ramping tool. Today we're going to take a look at how they did that and how you can too. If we scrub through this clip, you can see how it shows liquid oxygen being dropped onto burning coals, which causes the coals to quickly burn and light on fire, creating a really cool effect. However, if we let the clip play at normal speed, it's really slow and not as exciting to watch. So to help make the clip a little more interesting to watch, we can add speed ramping. To get started, you'll want to come over to this icon here and right click. Select Time Remapping from the menu, then Speed. You'll then want to make the video track larger, which you can do by moving your mouse here, holding Option or Alt, and scrolling with your mouse. You can also hold Command or Control and hit the Equal button on your keyboard. Once the video track is expanded, you should be able to see this line here. This line represents the speed of the clip, which can be adjusted by moving the line up or down. You can adjust the speed like this, but we want the footage to actually ramp up and down between different speeds to make it more interesting to look at. First, you want to find the point in the video where you want the speed to change. We'll have the video slow down right here where the flames start to pick up. Then go ahead and select the pen tool and click here to insert a keyframe. Choose your selection tool again, grab this half of the keyframe, and drag it to the left. As you move the keyframe, you can see in the program monitor what frame it is aligned with. It looks good here, so we'll drag it to this point. Now when you grab the line to the left and raise it, you can see only this section of the video is being adjusted. Go ahead and set it to the speed you want. The footage is pretty slow, so we'll set ours to 1000%. As a last step, you can then click here to select the entire keyframe, which brings up this marker. If you grab the handle and drag, it will give the speed ramp a more rounded feel, which helps transition between the fast and slow parts of the clip. Once you've got that in place, the effect is ready to go. You can add some more if you'd like, and in the end, you'll have a nice speed ramping effect, which will help you take your footage to the next level. Thanks again for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to watch our other videos with Adobe, where we talk about motion graphics and auto reframing. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.